Welcome back to What's Next Garage. Today we have the unfortunate duty of fixing this air conditioning. Right now it's about 90 degrees. So far I've troubleshot down to the capacitor. So on this air conditioner, we have a, a 40 microfarad and a five microfarad. So this is a dual, uh, a dual capacitor. So I don't have this capacitor However, I had a 35 microfarad capacitor from a compressor motor that I have. I took that compressor motor capacitor and installed it, but I had to disconnect the fan, which uses the five microfarad to start. Today on What's Next Garage, I'm gonna open this back up. We're gonna install some new capacitors and we're gonna get this baby cooling again. And I'm kinda in a hurry today because it looks like we're gonna get some rain. Stick around, here we go. All I have to do is reconnect the wires of the new capacitor, which I need to look at. Now, the way I checked this out to make sure the capacitor was bad is I turned the meter to there. The black one goes to the common. Any one of these should give me a reading. No reading. And this one, no reading. So this capacitor is dead. And it just so happened I got my new capacitors today. And it's a 37450 volt, 45, 5, 37450. So now on this one, you can read them a bit better because you have hermetically sealed, common, and fan. So when we take our leads, we go to the common. So when we're on the, fan, when we're on the common, which is here, and the hermetically sealed compressor lug, we get 44.5. And then when we come over to the fan, we get 4.94 or 5. So this capacitor is good. All right, so now I got to make this system safe to work on. And I have, the, uh, I have a Honeywell app here, which I can then turn off my compressor. So I'm going to go to mode, and I'm going to select off. Oh, and then hit save. Okay, so now our system shut off. So now I'm going to go to the disconnect, and I'm going to pull the disconnect. I'm going to just leave the disconnect out. Okay, so now we're going to pull we're going to pull our capacitor out. Hopefully it's discharged enough so that we don't get a little shakaroni. So, let's pull this out. And I'm going to kind of just go like that. I'm tapping it against the metal there. So we're good. So we're going to pull the red. The red was I don't know what the red was. Okay, and the and the yellow was the, yeah, I don't know what that was either. I got them labeled B and R, which I don't even know why I did that. That's kind of silly. I do know that yellow goes to the compressor and brown goes to the fan. So that should help us out. But first I have to put this purple wire and this black wire back in. So the black wire goes up on this top plug. Let's hope there's no power there because I'll get a little tickle. And then this purple one goes right here to this guy and this is the contactor here so I'm using this this contactor goes in and out when it's called for power it pulls that in so now let's get our new capacitor which is right here our new capacitor and we're gonna go yellow goes down to the compressor so that's got to be to the compressor and I know brown goes to the fan oh and I'm sweating and then red has got to be the common right yeah because that comes right off of there so we're gonna see if that blows up I got two of them so lucky me all right isn't it how that works okay I can't I'm gonna have to readjust this thing but first we're gonna check it so now everything is all set there I'm gonna reinstall the power okay so I've reinstalled the power and now I'm gonna give it a call for air conditioning so everybody gets to watch if that capacitor blows up. That will be unfortunate, but I don't think it will because I think I'm all good to go. All right, mode, we're gonna go to cool. Here we go. Nothing. That should have kicked in. I got something wrong. Okay, hold on. I'm unturning, I'm turning it back. Whoa, there it goes. There it goes. Good thing I didn't touch nothing, hey? Okay, so the fan is turning and the compressor is running. So we're getting good air. 
really good airflow. That's pumping out air like crazy. And compressor is running. All right, I'm gonna run inside and make sure we're making air. I'm just gonna let it run to cool the house down a little bit and I'm gonna head down to the, to the shed, get a drill and a drill, a drill and a drill. I'm gonna get a drill and a drill bit. I'll be right back. Okay, it's been running for about five minutes. I'm gonna go back on the app and turn it off. And it, it happens pretty quick. So I'm in and off, I just need to save it. Okay. And yeah, it goes pretty quick. Disconnect up here again. Pull the power, well, I'm gonna end up pulling that whole thing apart soon. And then, I don't think, I grabbed some little screws. Oh, hey, nice, woo, woo, woo. I do have the coil on the back is all plugged up. Now, let's see if I got time for that. So I'm gonna blow out that back with this big blow gun I have here. This is the Guard Air 75 XT and that stands for extra thrust. Okay, change of plans. I'm going with the Guard Air 74S. All right, so we've got it all blown out. Everything's looking good. Now we're just gonna put the cover on and then we'll uh, start it up and I'll get everything put away. I've got a lot of electrical stuff sitting out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the last, if I can find my phone, and now we're gonna fire it up. Here we go, gonna give it the test. Okay, let's go to mode. Go to cool and let's go to start. All right, there she is. Fired up nice. Got real good airflow. And now that it's pulling air on the other side, and now that we've got good flow everywhere, we're getting, we're actually utilizing all three sides now instead of just two. So whether that makes a difference in cooling, I don't know. I didn't do a before. Uh, test with the thermometer versus an after. So now I just need to clean up and uh, go inside and enjoy the air conditioning. The air conditioner went down on Saturday. I ended up taking a 35 microfarad capacitor out of a compressor motor I have, ran it and then used the fans. Then I finally got, two days later, I finally got the correct capacitor. So now the fan is running and the compressor is running. Everything is doing good. It's just like my snowblower. Don't work on it, don't give it any, t any type of PM until you need it. That's gonna do it for this episode of What's Next Garage Hot and Sweaty Edition. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.